What's going on fellow web developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be learning and getting started with our first Python application. Now on screen is the Python website, python.org. We're gonna to need to download it first. If you go head over to python.org and go to download, you'll see download Python 3.9.7 or whatever the latest version is. Feel free to get the latest version or get 3.9.7 to follow along with this exact tutorial. If you get a later version, it may or may not work. It probably will work, but we'll see. Uh, so just hit download. Um, I've already done this download, but I'll download it anyway. Um, just so you can see I'm not trying to get you guys to download a virus or anything just so you can trust me look I'll even open it up and everything so look bam uh, see it says I already have it installed I don't need to do anything so when you do this you'll get you'll get a little setup wizard you just need to follow through just literally go just follow it through and it'll install it it'll also install something called pip but in case it does not install pip you can go over to uh, this website pip.pypad.io uh, en stable in installation uh, the url up here uh, i may or may not remember to put that in the description so i apologize uh, but yeah you can get uh, pip from here and pip allows you to install packages kind of like npm does for javascript or node and here so we go over to windows you can also do it with mac or linux um, and we could just say pi this is for windows obviously don't forget to copy the thing pi hyphen m ensure pip upgrade so if i go in here and i just put paste and do this it should hopefully yeah already uh satisfied meaning it's already installed so if you go pip hyphen fee you should see uh your version number now mine's 21.2.3 um hopefully yours should be saying similar or newer um and that should be good so once you've got that installed there's one last thing we're going to install now this is called virtual environments and what virtual environments allow you to do is basically um so you don't destroy your own computer it's best to use the virtual environment to virtual environment to manage your uh computer so when you install packages in uh so if you come from a, a javascript background you would say npm install right or you can install them globally now with python if you was to install um an application um let's just say speech recognition um this will install it globally so unless you're inside of a virtual environment so let me just go through it and show you how you get one of those set up so in here you can install all this you've got upgrade your um pip make sure look at you should see that version and then on windows you'll type pi m install virtual env now i already have this installed so it probably should just say uh already satisfied you can see there now once you've got all of that installed go over to your terminal cmd whatever you're using let's close this and this and also that and go back here um so once you've got all of that installed you're ready to set up your first python app now we're going to create a virtual environment so what i'm going to say is virtual env right and then once we've done that we give it a name i'm just going to call it vnv uh, which stands for virtual environment hit enter and that is going to create in the current directory a virtual environment we can use now you don't have to install this anyway you could actually create a special virtual environment that you always use for every python app it doesn't actually matter where you install this what you do is you activate this inside of the terminal every time so this may be taking a long time but i believe this is actually going to be done already so we go to youtube python uh, my first app yeah you can see it's actually already there for some reason my terminal didn't update me and you can see there once we close it, it says it's all done uh so let's clear this and then inside let's close that too now inside of here what we can do is we can say um we we'll, we basically want to go into the uh script so we say vnv e backslash and then scripts and if you're on windows you'll use active oh backslash um activate.bat but if you're on a uh, mac i believe there's another one it might be just activate and you'll do uh bash or something like that i can't remember exactly maybe google it uh, but on windows it's dots bat to run the activation file hit enter and there you go you'll see 
on the left it says we're in a virtual environment and that means now anything we do in here will be on the virtual environment it also means we don't have to be in this current folder we can go in any folder and if we ran pip or python it would be using the virtual environment so let's go back into my first app now so we've got that all out the way let's open this up in our text editor or whatever you want to edit your python app in i'm going to use visual studio codes uh, you can feel free to download that i recently did a video on all the stuff i use so if you're curious go check that video out i'm not going to go over it in this one because i've already done it once before so you can see here we've still got our virtual environment again it doesn't need to be in this folder but we're going to keep it in there anyway i'm going to create a new folder and we'll call it main.py um and in here we can get started with our first virtual environment app so let's just type in something let's say uh we're going to say print so printing is like log into the console inside of python and we will say uh let's say hello world obviously everyone's favorite now in python you don't need a semicolon or anything at the end it's got super super fun and pretty good syntax if i'd say um and now inside we could go in here i'm just gonna close this one down for now close that and i'm gonna open up um my integrated terminal and hopefully it should yeah so because vs code already knows it's already um set up my virtual environment but if not you just run the activate script again and it should just work let's close this and now in here we're going to say pi and then we're just going to give the name of the um application and hit enter and there you go it says hello world so that is our first hello world app but that's not very fun is it so let's start off with something else let's go in here let's say your name is equal to input now input will ask you what basically ask you something what you're looking for so it will say in the console it will say what is your name and then you can give it a response and that will store it inside of our variable here and then we can print uh, and if we put an f here this means an f string which means we can pass values through and we can say hello and then i believe it's just that and we can put name i think that's how you do it don't quote me if i'm wrong or do quote me if i'm wrong tell me if i'm wrong hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll find out in a second so now if we run this again it says what is your name i'm gonna say tyler hello tyler so there you go we get our name printed back to us how awesome is that so that is the first thing we're going to be looking at in this it's just kind of called cool. input go what is your name we can print hello tyler and then we get another one your age say equals to input how old are you and then we can print back um f and we can say your well we can let's do an if statement actually we're going to say if age is greater than 18 we're going to do so you can see this an if statement so if this is true so if we're if we're older than 18 or we'll say old or equal to 18 you're old enough to vote yeah there you go we'll leave that in there and we'll go else uh print you are not old enough to vote so let's see this so let's go in here let's say pi main.py uh, what is your name my name's tyler hello tyler how old are you i'm only 12 years old uh oh we have an error uh if age is equal to it's not supported for instance string oh this is giving us back a string so what we need to do is we need to turn this into an integer like that and this will convert it into an integer so you can see it convert a number or string to an integer or return zero if no arguments are given so there we go let's try this again um my name is tyler how old are you i am 12 you are not old enough to vote <laughs> thank you um and at the end let's just print goodbye so we know it's the end so we'll just print here goodbye here we go so let's try it again let's see this time if we're over 18 what's your name my name is tyler how old are you i am 23 and it goes goodbye you are old enough to vote goodbye and there you go that is as simple as it is to create our first simple python app now guys there's a lot more you could do with this and if you want to learn python guys please let me know in the comment section down below because i am going to be doing a bunch more different things we can do stuff like guis uh games we can do um some surfer stuff so if you want to create an api or something in python and let me know uh what's one thing i recently did we could do like rock paper scissors inside the terminal 
Uh, there's loads of different things you could do there. So you can do a drawing app. That's one thing I did recently. Uh, what have I done? I did a Discord bot. That was something we did. So let me know in the comment section what you want to see. What are the sort of things you want to learn? If you want me to go for some basic syntax of Python, so obviously here we've got um, a name. Uh, we've got a print. We've got an age. And we're input. So that can take something from the CLI. We've got an if. And then more prints. And we can also do a function. So let's just do a function called greeting. Um, and yeah, let's say name and then we can go here print hello name. So instead of doing um, print, we can say greeting and pass through the name. And now if we hopefully that should work. What's that saying? Greeting is not defined. Oh, do we need to put? I think it should be fine. We'll see. PyMain. What is your name? Tyler. Yeah, cool. So obviously in Python, we need to make sure our function is a buff when where we call it. So let's put this at the very top. Bam. There we go. And then we can just say python or py main dot G oh, python, not JavaScript. Uh, my name is Tyler. Hello, Tyler. How old are you? I am 23. You're old enough to vote. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know I'm old enough to vote. But there you go. You can see how that kind of works. It's pretty cool. So this is how you define a function. This is how you get input from the CLI. Uh, a greeting is obviously calling the function and then enough for getting more information from the CLI. We then get, um, we check, do an if statement for an age. And, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff we could do. But for now, guys, I hope you've learned something useful. Uh, you've learned a bit of Python. You're going to go away, research some Python. You're going to be super inspired and want to make loads of Python apps. So let me know in the comment section what you want to see. Tell me all the juice dealers. You want to see a super, you want, you want me to sell you a pen in Python. I'll do it. Tell me. Just tell me. I'll do it. <laughs> just print buying this pen uh, anyway guys thank you for watching this video if you've enjoyed don't forget to leave a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace out